Hi, I'm DJ Crossfader and today I'm going to show you the basics of Fruity Loops and uh, basically called uh, FL Studio and uh, how you can create a simple house song in it. I'm also going to show you uh, later how to create a basic hands up song and it's a little bit complica complicated than that but uh, you first need to know the basics of Fruity Loops. If you already know the basics, uh, yeah, you can skip a little bit through the video because I'm first going to show you the basics. The first of all here you see is the interface and I also like to start with uh, an empty template. So you can select File, New From Template and click on Empty. You only see is one sampler and that's great because uh, we're going to use much samplers. Uh, as you can see, Fruity Loops works with patterns and the pattern has its own melody, each pattern. We're now working on pattern one and there isn't any one more because we just started. In the pattern we create the melodies and in this area you can make uh, melodies uh, with the same rhythm so kicks can be created in here uh, beats but if you want to create bass lines or melodies with uh, a different kind of tones you can use the piano roll which is in here in this menu and you will get in this tablet and here you can create melodies I prefer the piano instead of these things in previously uh, versions of FL Studio they uh, started with the piano but they decided in FL Studio 10 the newest version to start with these sorry guys but I love to work with a piano roll and exactly I think you're going to like the two now you can create a melody uh, using notes this is a note you will not hear anything because there is no any sample in it so but you can create a melody here and if you click play you will spill you will play the notes in here and you can create melodies but in further tutorials we'll go further into that now here you can create melodies in here in the sampler itself or in the piano roll then we're going to place these melodies in a playlist and mixing down a track of it. You can place all melodies, all audio clips and samplers, melodies in here and you will get a one track. We also do have a mixer, it's hidden under this button and it's not a very great one but if you tick this button and shuffle it around you see you have about 100 channels. Each channel can have his own instrument and in a sampler menu you click on it you can see FX it says number one and it means it's connected to channel one if you change it you can set it on any channel you want if you set it on this all the way down it means it doesn't have any channel to do uh, it fast to put it fast on a channel you can click on this here and assign free mixer track which will set it on channel 2 because that one is free and not used but I set it back to 1 again using this now in a mixer you can change the volumes of the track of each channel and you can also add effects to master the sample you can do this by here you can add 8 effects and you think why such less well 8 plugins is enough seriously you can also connect the channel to another one to add more effects but I think you don't need more than eight plugins you can click on this button to add a plugin in it I call them plugins Fruity Loops has enough plugins built in but you can also install VSTi plugins which can be added to this list so you can use them uh, for basics we don't need them yeah, so I like to shake it around um, 
Now, yes, you know a little about FL Studio. The only thing I didn't tell you is that there's also a tempo bar, which is also very important to set this on the right tempo. Well, house and electro songs, dirty Dutch house songs, will be around 128 BPM. It can also be 126 or 130, but I just like in the middle, so I put it, my songs mostly on 128 BPM. Tempo, BPM. BPM means beat per minute, and every DJ should know that's the speed of any song. <coughs> Hands up songs are uh, from 140 BPM till 145 and fast hands up songs are around 150 BPM Also hard style tracks will also be around 150 BPM And there are some your music styles, but I never tried to produce them So I don't really know the BPMs my two basic styles are house dirty house and I call them 2-1 style and hands up that's the styles I produce now this was my chit chat and if you skipped all through this let's start creating a house song before we going to do that yes I tell you I use uh, sample packages I like the Fangans uh, packages so I have the Fangans Essential House Volume 2 sample package and if you scroll down I got more for hands up I use uh, the essentials clip sounds volume 2 and volume 3 these are uh, these contains practically the same samples in the same folders only that these uh, samples are more made for hands up and these uh, one above are more for house and at least I also use a focal uh, package, the Focal Essentials Volume 1. It contains vocals which are pretty good for every style. So I always use these in every style I produce. Now we scroll down above and get started. The main thing which you see in every song is a kick in hip hop, R and B. You always will hear a kick, but on a different melody or different rhythm. In house and hands up, hard style, these are practically the same, but in uh, hip hop and R&B are a little bit different. Now go to the kicks folder and take a look around. Uh, I mostly take the hard kicks. Now let's take this for a sample. You can just put it in here, hold down your mouse button here to get it on this sampler. If you like to edit under it, just release it in there and you will get your sample. Now there's also two extra uh, buttons in here. This one is for the adjusting speakers. If you, the all the, if you put it all the way here, you will hear it on the left speaker. And if you put it all over here, you will hear it on the right speaker. And if you put it in the center, you will get a stereo effect. And this is for the volume of the track. You can decide each uh, sense of volume per sampler which you can also do in the mixer if you boot it on a channel now we put this on track one in a mixer and to be know which kind of sample this i rename it to kick i also rename this pattern while working on on kick now let's make the kick rhythm you can do it pretty easy and fast to click your right mouse button and fill each four steps. You will get this. Sunrise. Now you can put this kick in the playlist. Now he's going to ask which pattern. We call kick and put it in here. You can change your pattern you want to put in the playlist using this button. But practically, if you uh, change the pattern from here, it mostly will also do in here. And you can paste them into here. Now, uh, house songs do also have a clap. You know? So take a look at the claps. Such a good clap. I like this one. 
we also create a new uh, pattern and rename it to clap also rename this one to clap and put it in here and here because a clap will not on every kick but only on the second and a fourth and if you put it in here you get something like this it's a little bit too soft at my uh, advice so I'll mostly add a snare to it and not just every snare but a little bit clap snare this is a clap snare so add it to it and now it's on the same positions but don't forget to call it snare you can put it on the same pattern as the clap put the volume a little bit down of the snare okay we got a little bit of the basic beat now you also want some yeah symbols it's also cool so let's add some symbols and open to hi-hat let's add this one create a new pattern called symbols put it on here on this here and add it under it put a volume down rename it to symbols sounds really nice well um, you know it's uh, maybe add some more instruments and yes if you're a little bit lazy you can use the loops over here uh, but if you more want to say I want to create my own sounds you can create them yourself by uh, putting in some samples from precious or some snares or anything else some FX sounds and you can create your own basic type of loop but if you're lazy or you just want to be fast just like me you can use some loops you can put in some loops just like me make sure the loop is not too loud so change the volume a little bit call it loop and if you want other loops uh, samples putting it again click on this menu and then all now listen to it a little bit too loud sounds really nice now we get a basic house beat and now it's time to create some yes like we see uh, symbols and symbol crash and create a melody well I can do you that but I can tell you this is just a tutorial and don't use this song I don't like it when people steal my song but for the melody uh, I also going to uh, create an FLP so you can uh, use it in your songs to practice well it's not a perfectly song I know it has to be fast so I like this crash not too loud call it crash just looks nice in the end and now you can start creating your melody and for the melody you can use synths 
but I prefer to add Nexus. Nexus is an, a Feast DI which can create samples for you. If you don't have Nexus, you can also use samples to create your melody, but Nexus is mostly a program which will also add reverb and delay and some effects to it. Well, we're going to... Um, I like the piano a uh, little bit. Yes. We can do some great stuff with a piano. I like the dicky piano. Oh, open up the piano roll and let. Okay. Oh, I forgot something to create a new uh, pattern, and then you will hear this through it. And now let's call it synth. And also this synth, open the piano roll back again. melody. We'll put it in here again. Well, this is our uh, melody. We can put it in here. As you can see, it starts way too fast. And what we can do about this to uh, make it uh, is a cutoff. And put a synth on a new channel, assign to free channel and add for the filters find in here now i put out a high pass because it's going to master something what we don't want but we need a cut off frequency now we need to create an automation clip of it so click on the rise mouth button on it and create automation clip scroll it a little bit down so you can add more samples now click on the rise mouse button to create a, a point and another one to put it all down now we want it a little bit uh, from here and it's more like this start Okay, that was very cool. And 
get another one and it sounds like this Now you can build a sweep up and you can find the sweep up uh, like near somewhere. It's hard to find, I know. It's uh, called and it will build up. I can really get some from here. I can this one. I want to make it a little bit shorter and you can do that using the time frequency in here. Change down the volume. Call it sweep up. Oh. Oh, I clicked the wrong button, but I want to remove this one. Add a symbol crash in here, would ni be nice. And this one is a little bit different. So let's scroll up. Crash. And add a new synth around here. Kick. Do it. Yes. It's a little bit too boring because we're missing a bass line. Yes, dun 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 dun. A bass line is a background bass which will do the work for us. So take a look at the basses. Now um, add the bass to it and click on the piano roll. First, create a new pattern. The piano roll. As you see, the bases are very long, and there's a little trick for it to do. So click on it, and put on the CRF button up. As you can see, you can use it normally now. Now we need to create a baseline, and I think it's this one. So create, go to the pattern baseline and edit do it like this and I guess it's the wrong one this one so baseline Try in here. Yes, that was it. And then this one. Well, I think it's about time I'm going to leave you. I made a little bit basic of uh, how to create a song and mixing it down a little bit. Yes, I uh, think the tutorial should end now. Thank you for watching.
I will share this FLP with you with every samples I used and the melody. Um, you need Nexus to, uh, yes, actually uh, get that melody. So uh, maybe I can change it a little bit so you can use a sample, um, but you won't get the same melody as I did. Uh, you can use the FLP to uh, learn new things what you've seen in this tutorial Again, thank you for watching. This was DJ Crossfader and there are more tutorials coming soon. Bye. Bye